Today, I paid $7 to go see Space Jam, A New Legacy. Space Jam, A New Legacy was unfortunately released in 2021. It was written by Jewel Taylor, Tony Renton Mayer, Keenan Coogler, Terrence Nance, Jesse Gordon, and Celeste Ballard, and directed by Malcolm D. Lee. I think we can see one of the problems already, and that is that there's like a bajillion writers who does that to a movie. I apologize if my camera glitches out. It's kind of broken. I don't really know what happened to it, but it's kind of broken, so I apologize for that. Um, where to begin? Um, don't, first, first, don't waste your money, okay? I want to tell you this first. So that you know not to do that, okay? Watch it for free somewhere, or don't watch it at all. It's not worth money, I promise you that. Um, there's going to be a, a, a usually I do no spoilers, but there's going to be a little bit of spoilers here because there's not really a way to talk about this one without spoiling it, but if you've seen the trailer, you've seen the end of the movie already, so doesn't really matter. I tried to explain this to a friend of mine. Uh, what the movie's like. And essentially, it's like if Warner Brothers made their own Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse movie, but using every single Warner Brothers property, okay? Name a Warner Brothers property. It's in the movie. And I say this in the most true respect possible, okay? Like, I have a poster of Stephen King's It on my wall, okay? A Warner Brothers property. And I'm going to go see a movie that is for kids, basically, because it's got, you know, Bugs Bunny in it. And... Pennywise the Dancing Clown is sitting in the audience pretty, like, up front throughout the entire movie. And it's incredible. They have Harry Potter Land. We swing by a Quidditch match. We literally stop in and we overshoot some Looney Tunes in front of Mad Max Fury Road. There is a 10-minute sequence of um, Justice League where we have Wonder Woman and Lola Bunny working together, which I granted one of the best parts of the film was listening to the soundtrack from Wonder Woman again, because that's one of the best soundtracks in the world. Prove me wrong. Um, and uh, how do I explain this, the plot of this? LeBron James. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, here we go. LeBron James is a terrible father. And so he and his son go to Warner Brothers to discuss being in a movie. And then this evil... Um, algorithm sucks them up into the the Warnerverse is what they called it and it's literally this multiverse of every property that Warner Brothers has ever made uh, how, do I, how do I continue this sorry there's baby goat apparently I'm excited about that I'm I don't even know where to start um, they have the basketball match because that's the only logical thing that the algorithm can do. The algorithm was like, let's have a basketball match against LeBron James. And then they basically use the kid to make a video game where they play basketball to see who's going to win. And I think that this movie was supposed to be kind of a, a comedy but also a sweet movie. Right? I, there are obviously times where we're supposed to feel for our main character who is not really LeBron James. It's really the kid, LeBron's son Dom. And we're learning that like he wants to be his own person and LeBron needs to be a better father and let him be his own person. And they're obviously like pushing and shoving like you know kids and parents do. And there's a couple moments where like there's a shed, a shed of humility there. There's like a shed, a, t a, t a tiny, a tiny shred. Occasionally, a tiny, occasionally, okay. There's a, a occasionally there's a tiny shred of like feeling. But for the most part, they're like, let's sell you on Warner Brothers. The, the Warner Brothers logo is everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, it is amazingly bad. There's Scooby-Doo. There's Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Harry Potter. Mad Max. Uh, Game of Thrones. What was Game of Thrones doing in my Space Jam movie? What? They have a dragon flying through trying to get the Looney Tunes in the middle of Game of Thrones Space Jam. Okay? And 
I, it looks like they were literally just like, we need an excuse to like promote Warner Brothers. And like, let's just make it a Space Jam movie. The people love that movie. Which, granted, is not how most people remember. It's a fine movie. It's simply fine. It's not great. It's just fine. The good parts about that movie had to do with Michael Jordan. And they get rid of that and they get LeBron James, which I don't know anything about LeBron James. But he is not an actor. He's not a very good actor at all. Um, quite frankly, he's a bad actor. Um, and I don't personally care about him. I don't care about him or his family. I don't care. They, they started the movie off with a shred of hope of, like, maybe there'll be a lesson learned at the end of this. And there is kind of... Kids that watch the movie are going to love it. Kids are going to love this movie, except for when they're horrified because, you know, Pennywise the Dancing Clown just kind of shows up with a bunch of scary, you know, White Walkers from Game of Thrones and watch a basketball game. Um, but if you don't look at that, which is hard to because it's there the entire film, um, and there's kind of a, a little bit of a lesson at the end. There's a little bit. It's like, okay, you need to let your kids grow up to be who they want to be. That's great. I love that we tried there. Okay, I appreciate that we tried. But maybe we tried too hard or not enough. Something went wrong. Something went wrong with Warner Brothers. At some point... Along this crazy road of, oh my god, never do this again. They were like, let's let's do this. And that, that that's the point. I wish I could go back in time to be like, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it at all, ever, please. Um, the good news is that this movie will be quickly forgotten. Um, I'm going to put this ticket stub where I put all my other ticket stubs in a little box. And I'm going to forget about the movie. That's my goal. I plan to forget about it so much. Uh, there's not a whole lot of acting to talk about, but Don Cheadle was there. Um, and he played this really awful villain who had like almost a reason to like be bad uh, i was almost impressed i was like warner brothers you're doing something here like he's like i'm an algorithm and no one appreciates my work so i'm sad and it's like okay we're we're kind of personifying an algorithm i get it it's kind of like i see where we're trying to go here but it didn't work at all so maybe don't do it ever again that'd be really rad um it's 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 bad on a whole nother level. Do not waste your money on this movie ever. It's on HBO Max if you have a subscription. Uh, feel free to waste two hours there. Uh, if you do go to the movie theater, I apologize. Comment down below what you guys thought about the movie before I give you my thing. I want to I know what you guys thought. Um, am I right? Is it bad or am I wrong? Is it like one of the best cinematic experiences anybody's ever been to? Because I will say it gave me a little bit of hope for like what we could see in the future because apparently Warner Brothers does not care about any of their properties so they're okay with like mixing the two. So like a Harry Potter Game of Thrones would be kind of cool. When are we going to get that? Or like... Um, Back to the Future Scooby-Doo. Like, when are we going to get that? Huh? What, 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 what am I missing here, okay? Um, and I don't know if we're going to get any of those. I don't... Uh, we're obviously not. I hope we don't. But, like, playfully, I'm like, it was kind of cool to see everything together. But also, never again, please, forever, please, no. And so I'm going to go ahead and give Space Jam a new legacy in F+. Awful. Bad. Regretful. Don't watch it. Don't waste your money doing it. Oh my goodness. Who thought this is a good idea? I want to know who decided that they should make a second Space Jam. The first one was barely good. Everyone knows when the first one came out, no one really cared about it. And also, this film already dates itself. There's so many references. There's a Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty show up. Like, Rick and Morty are there. Like, that dates itself so good because a lot of these characters are not going to matter in like 10 years. Like, there's a good chance no one's going to care about Pennywise and Dancing Clown. Game of Thrones is already on a decline. No one really talks about it anymore. And it's like all of this crazy stuff and they're like, let's just throw it into one movie that like everyone's going to forget. We might make a couple bucks off of it, which is almost true because they didn't have to pay for anything rights. They had all the royalties. And it, it bothers me on a whole lot. Please don't watch this film. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, please consider subscribing if you like movie reviews. I do it every single day. Um, and once I get to 150 subscribers, I'm going to dress up like Spider-Man and go to Walmart. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys are hitting that red button. Make sure you guys are sharing with your friends, liking the video. And as always, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated. And I'll see you guys in the next video.